I don't think there is ever a quiet start to a new dawn in a new day in the life of Tom. Because if I open this door, I can see a van. And if I open the gate, I should be inviting in a man with a plan. I decided to walk in the kitchen. He's already bloody finished. I'm not even kidding. I thought, oh, I'll just let them set up. I'll go and have a quick shower. And by the time I walk downstairs, these blokes have finished half the job. I'm in a little bit of awe. So look at this back glass section. That's what we previously had up here without the white dots of glue. And it's been replaced with this smoky mirrored glass. Look at it. <laughs> it looks amazing. And it's now time for the new one to go up. Ooh. Moment of dragon. Please don't break. Please don't break. Right. It looks so good. Look at it. The, the, the guys are already gone. Honestly, it took them like no time at all. But we have got a brand new smoky coppery glass backsplash for the kitchen. <laughs> Better go on, better nice. And hey, up there. So, oh my gosh, I was not expecting you right there. I just looked out the window and didn't see anyone. Hey, right, Alice, has Carl kicked you out or something? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, all right then. He doesn't love me anymore. He's taken the I child. Know, <laughs> Just moved in. Hiya. Hiya, Hiya. I did tell you to move through uh, for two actually. weeks, but then I went to Centre Park too, then I thought, no thanks. Let's see if you can notice. I noticed. Wait, how did you notice already? Straight away. Oh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, if I've got to be honest today, I'm on a bit of a mission. The house is such a mess, which is fair because we're redecorating and doing all this stuff, but there's just junk everywhere. And to be honest, there's no excuse for it. So you know what we're doing? We're getting shit done. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but in my house, there's a thing called a cardboard fairy. You leave cardboard at the front of your house, and if, like, by magic, it just disappears. Now, I'm going to put you there, because... Why have you been drinking? Okay, we'll try this one again, because I thought I'd show off the new smoky background uh, as I do my Tom's stretchy exercises, because, as you know, I've got a gammy shoulder, so every other day I have to go like this. Thumbs up to... Actually, I'm supposed to go... Posture straight, shoulders straight, and then I'm supposed to go, thumbs up to you. <laughs> thumbs up over there, and thumb... Don't quite have the room for this. Thumbs up over there. And then I need to do that, like, basically 20 times. What are you doing in my shop? Ooh. Oh, that was close. Are you ready for a bit of a story time? Why don't you look nice? Look at you. Are you ready for a bit of a story time? I should have just recorded it because it was absolutely hilarious. But I just spoke to a fridge guy about replacing the fridge when You've it exploded. It forever, Roll the clip. <laughs> and basically, uh, yeah, it's completely not fixable. He was like, no, you need a whole new fridge. When I told him it was 10 years old, he was like, oh, mate, yeah, that, no, you're better off with a new one anyway. And when I spoke to the guy and he, I told him which fridge model it was, he went, oh, my God. He was like... The gas inside that is either this or that. And he went, it is highly flammable. He said, if you were doing that while smoking a cigarette, you would have blown up. Good job we don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, and the moral of that story is, don't smoke cigarettes. But do you know what the moral of the story is as well? Don't drill through a fridge, otherwise it will cost you... £830. <laughs> Think of how much BT internet I could have bought for that. <laughs> Meanwhile at the Kev Wash, do 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 It's the Kev Wash now. I do, mate. You're looking extremely funky today. But it is indeed because he's shedding. Why so serious? Right, I'm a man on a mission, and we need to get five burgers from five guys for the five troops downstairs. The numbers, Mason. The numbers. So it's time to hit the road. <gasps> Wait a minute. The cardboard fairy's bin! I told you, <laughs> honestly, it's like a magic trick. <laughs> thanks, Andy. And thanks, Syndicate Original, because they wanted five guys, and that means we get five guys. Come, 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 come. Oh my gosh, I'm ready for this. £65.10 on burgers. And Lydia didn't even want one. I don't believe it. A small mortgage later. We are leaving with the burgers. And you're right, it is a nice day. You know what? You know what it is? It's a lovely day for people to be wearing the Syndicate Original Summer Rain Collection. Just ignore the clouds behind me because <laughs> it will be the summer raining collection then. <laughs> I simply have to show you guys this. Look at the size of this chip that I went to pull out. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. It's bloody massive. 
but bloody good. Mmm, Cajun fries. And we're at that point in the journey where if you look up over there, Syndicate original repping on the rooftops. Go on the boys. I love that you can just see it. And it's so clear. <laughs> Syndicate original worldwide, bro. We're taking over height. And down Karamanjaro we go. Oh! Sorry, you caught me vlogging in the wild. Are you the vegetarian? No. Oh, good God. I mean, go I mean, oh God, good. Sorry, I said that like, yeah. Who's a vegetarian? Why are you a vegetarian? What a wait, what a... Yeah, I, I went to Five Guys and you ordered a vegetarian burger. I felt disgust. Foodie. Hey, listen, you're more than welcome, staff. Thank, thank you so much for shipping out the orders. Luckily, it's a sunny day for people to wear the new t-shirts. <laughs> mm. Good, right? Mm. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Where's yours gone? I've taken one bite out of it. He's really oh, finished yeah, it. Yeah, That's because I've been eating it while you've been reeling everything off. Oh, sorry, I was dealing with vegetarian. Yeah. No. I would like to clarify. I actually have no problems with vegetarians. I just like picking on Danielle just for the sake of it because I've known her for ages. And someone I'm not going to be picking on today is Lydia. You don't feel too well, do you? She feels sick. Actually. She feels sick. Why are you making her feel sick? Why are you making her feel sick, jolly man? Oh, look at that bump. But even though she's feeling sick, she's getting on with shit and getting motivated. Wait, who's at my front door? It get back to get in the basement. Get back down where you belong. Uh, well, what I was going to say is it won't be the first time I've spat on you, but then that just sounds... That, right, listen, when I jumped scared yesterday, I accidentally dribbled on her. <laughs> this doesn't sound right. It's like, I'm just going to stop this. But I have just come to a pivotal realisation in my life. And it makes a lot of sense, but you've realised that the house has just been an absolute mess and I've not really been vlogging it all that much because I'm just sick of it looking like shit. And it, I feel like if I see a cluttered house, it gives me like a cluttered mind of seeing it all. But me and Lydia have been on a bit of a cleaning spree this morning. It might not look like it, but we have. And I feel like the more and more we're putting things together and like getting it tidier and getting like the glass going up and get, getting a bit closer to things being like more finished, I think it's making me just feel more positive, more passion, more energy, more footwork. It's making me feel good. So we've just got to stay on top of it. We've got an electrician coming today. Because if we're making moves with this, with bald cousin, we need to get switch, switch, switchish thing. Shifted or discussed of how to shift them and where to put them. And then I need to hide all these wires in the ceiling. Wait, no, no, no. I need to hide all those wires in the wall because they're the wires for the speakers in the ceiling. That's what I meant to say. And now it's going to seem a little bit backwards, but all that wiring is for these speakers like I said, but they simply don't get used. Spotify, Sonos, all that sort of stuff. It's just so much better and like smart TV like capability that I really am not about these speakers. Someone's gonna have to let me know if they're actually any good. This is what I, here's what I found earlier. This is what it is. That's the brand. Someone let me know if that speaker is still any good and if there's any way for me to connect them to Sonos like, what are they called, bridges or hubs? Because if I could do that, but hide all the wiring in the ceiling, then jobs are good and I'll do it. But yeah, basically we've got the electrician coming over to help us like get rid of this, this and this and hide, hide it in the wall, but for future reference, know where it is. And then we can keep moving forward with what we're doing. Oh, and on that note, um, the fire has got some progress going with it because um, Carl is gonna be removing it and capping it off so there's no gas going to it. We've got his friend who's a plasterer covering it up, of which he's gonna be covering up that once we had that in the wall as well. So great success, but as you know, we've been looking at getting a log burner. Ooh, very good, very nice. Not that exact one or style or anything like that, but we've been looking at getting a log burner. However, we haven't got our new furniture yet that we've got coming, which we've realized is um, relatively big. So I thought I'd go out on a limb and ask the fireplace people if it's at all possible for me to drive to them and borrow their show units to bring it to the house, put it in place and see what it looks like in the room. So rather than guesstimating when a sofa goes there, there or there, where the fire should go, we'll be able to tell exactly where it should go and if it suits the room. And shout out to Holly from where we went yesterday. What was it, stoves and stuff? Impresswitch. Impresswitch, they were like, we'll bring you both the fires you're trying to choose between next Tuesday. It's been amazing. Yeah, seriously been so amazing. So Hence the shout, I do appreciate that. Like, not a lot of people would think to ask that because people would go, no, they probably won't do that. But like, if you don't ask, you don't get. So they're coming next Tuesday. She literally went, no one's ever asked us this before. <laughs> That's where Tom comes into play because I'd rather know and I'd rather not be like, oh, I wish I could have saw what the other one would look like. But they're coming on Tuesday and it's just another step in the right direction. One of them's huge. 
It's literally called Viking. It's about average size. <laughs> and we're getting shit done. <clears throat> now, do you know in the last few vlogs I've said I've got all this furniture that I still need to build for the baby's room? <sighs> well, it still needs building, but I'm not doing it! <laughs> You can never make me! I'm going out the house again. And this time, we're going to Trafford Centre. I wonder if I bump into anyone there because they think I live there. But we're going to the Trafford Centre. Not quite sure what for. So let's ask what we're going to the Trafford Centre for. Oh, a mattress for the baby's cot. No, it was something important. And I forgot. I'm throwing this out here. Whenever the weather is nicer like this, my energy and happiness levels are just at an all-time high. When it's grey and miserable, I just want to sit inside and do nothing that's why the past few days like where the vlogs have been short is I, I, I don't want to go out yeah it's, it's been raining i don't want to go out and about i don't want to do anything i just want to sit inside and hibernate oh, boy, and wait for it to pass wait, what do you mean hey, Mr. Grumpy girls. <laughs> yeah i really do get a bit grumpy when the weather's a bit meh I'm a chameleon of my environment. Oh, we've arrived at the Trafford Centre! And the sun is shining! And the vibes are flying! I've just run away from Lydia so I can film a little, like, waddle. <laughs> You've got this, like, little lopsided bounce to yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at your size of your belly! Of course you have! <laughs> how, to how to trigger a pregnant lady 101. And we have arrived at our destination, the traffic center. I say that because it's usually busy. And we're ready. Look at the you ceiling. Ta-da! Lydia said we can go and choose a book. Do you really think we need more books? Always. To be fair, we can never get enough. Well, if I go and get a book from Wartstones, I'm going to have to go to Menkind because it's just the wall. Look at this place. Oh, it's very much in need of the wide angle. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And you're ready to see the world famous fountain. Oh, the timing, if it's shot up now, would be impeccable. It goes like this, it goes poof, and shoots to the top. Wow. Wait, what is that sign? Endless fashion event. Why, why's that guy got a Nokia? Why's he got a Nokia 3310? It's not fashion. It's a lethal fucking weapon. Now, I thought I lost her, but she's walked into Mamas and Papas. Oh, look at this. It's a little baby suit. Oh, how cute is that? So cute. I'm going to put it back. Oh, autumnal vibes. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Oh, that's kind of cute. Shoot for the moon. <laughs> it's not quite a Syndicate original, though, is it? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not wearing it. <laughs> My bad. It's not a very good advertisement for that chair, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the doesn't sound like it. Okay, this is where we need to be. I do believe this is a, a mattress choice. Wait, what the heck? we got springs. we got this. we got... Bird nest. All the choices. Now, while she makes that decision, I'm eyeing up this bad boy. Yes. This looks like a bit of me. Where is this? Um, this looks like a bit of Lydia. Oh, but this is something we actually do need. We need a camera so we can leave the baby sleeping and see them, like down the line. So my prison will be in full effect. In the cage, in the prison, CCTV monitored. Smart. We're stepping away and going to John Lewis. Never met the guy. But bloody hell, he's got a lot of stuff. Whoa. Just walking through the store and this lady's doing an amazing drawing. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh, these guys are playing Fortnite. As you casually do. Oh. So we need new curtains. Pretty much in like 90% of the house. And as a small sample, I'm like, I don't like it. It looks like it's got green bits in it. But as a whole, it does look much better. Yeah, that's why I don't like little sample things. <laughs> that's why I'm asking. Come it. shopping with me. I didn't want to go. <laughs> that's why I've asked him to bring the fireplace. Because <laughs> I don't just be like, oh, look at a picture of it and then guess. I like to see the whole thing. You test drive a car. Do you know what I mean? You want to, you want to experience it. You can test drive that fire. It's never simple because once you pick the curtain you want, you've then got to decide. Oh, well, how do you want it on? Do you want it in a three piece? In an eye hole piece? You want a two piece? You want a bunch piece? You want it as like a random blind or whatever? Or do you want to? Do it like a, a toilet roll. So many decisions. If this is the one we're having, we would like John Lewis's um, textured twill alabaster. Oh, hang on a minute. There's two different ones here. This one I just said was the alabaster one, whereas that one is. Oh, oh dear. It's out of stock. <laughs> Not sure if I'm supposed to be back here, but oh, I'm the king of the castle. Wow, wow, wee wow. You'll never get this. You'll never get this. You'll also never get that off there. <laughs> or there. But yeah, I've got a feeling I'm not supposed to be here. 
I've been here 19 years. And oh boy, we're going to be waiting a long time for these to get delivered. We were about to order some, but Lydia kind of panicked last minute going, I don't trust my measurements, no, aka want she that. wants Tom the to do it. exactly that I want as well aren't in stock. Shag. We're now on a stroll to the kids section to look for even more mattresses because if we're not comfortable with the other 18 we see, we've got 18 more to get. Oh, okay, now I'm distracted. Ooh, monster trucks. What uncle would I be if I didn't buy that for Arlo? It's a piranha. They live in the Amazon. If you get the reference, we can be friends. Hey up, she's a woman on a mission. It's the exact same setup in the other shop. No, don't get mad. I just thought Arlo would love it. <laughs> I know we need to focus on our baby. Yeah, yeah. He can maybe sit on it. Monster trucks, monster trucks. But yeah, look, it's the exact same setup as the previous place. Arlo? Don't be stupid, he can't read. But he can ride. I don't need it for Jelly Man. I don't need it for Jelly Man. I don't need it for Jelly Man. Look at that. It's so cute. I've always loved these. Oh, it's about that time where I'm going to want to spend money on stupid things. Like a stitch light for Jelly Man. Or a random V8 engine. Because why not? And now for the crown jewel of the Trafford Centre. The main escalator. Wow. It's just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I know I film it every time I come here, but come on, no. It's just so nice. <laughs> but not as nice as Yo Sushi. <laughs> no messing around for Lydia. She knows exactly what she wants and she's on the lookout for it. Oh, I feel like this is a personal attack today. Yo Veggie, say yes to plant power. Yeah. Yes. We're back looking at baby clothes. Yeah. And I can say yes, that's cute, but come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I can't be having bare puns about that. Oh, oh it's so soft. This might just have to happen. Oh. Yep, I'm buying that. And just like that, sold to me for £39. Wait, what? They have Minecraft fits in Zara. What? <laughs> it's got raised in the wrong generation, didn't it? So would you class that as a successful trip? Not really. <laughs> I bought a monster truck. We got some bedding for a bed that we didn't actually leave with. A cool little cute teddy bear onesie and some cookies. Oh, actually, that was successful. Because you got fed. <laughs> but as for the main essentials we came for, better look next time. So long, Trafford Centre. And hello, Smith's Toy Store. Where I have come to collect a present my goddaughter's seventh birthday. You know what? I cannot wait to come here with my kids. Look at it. Oh, getting it all. For me, not for them. Everywhere I look, he's there. That's a job well done. And I'm starting to think we should get out of here before aliens fall out the sky. Because over there, it's gorgeous. And over there, ominous but at least we are home sweet home quick take sanctuary oh something's going on looks like i've seen birds circling in the air above the house oh they're everywhere and they're circling there's gonna be a murder oh no oh i can hear the troops still downstairs at five z clock at night Ooh. hello the troops how are we doing oh, another day in the back wait boss man oh look at that you would have thought you'd see a Royal Mail at the back of my house. Yeah, all right, chaps. Good, good day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gracking? Yeah. Oh, gracking. Hey. Oh, well, I'm going from a good day in here to a bad day in here. I don't know if you recall what happened in the pool room, but basically, when I went to Canada all that time ago, the system went offline. I think it was like a power outage in the house, and it knackered the hot tub outside, and it knackered the pool. Now, usually, you can get these things sort of fixed, and all's good in the hood. However, there were certain things on the pool system that were kind of like malfunctioning and broken anyway. So I was like, we'll get an engineer out to assess it, let us know what he's thinking, and then give us a quote to get it fixed. Well, the guy came round, sent us his assessment, and basically gave it back to the company that built the pool and was like, this is what needs doing to get everything back online and get it working in perfect order. Um, however, they forgot to email me like what they needed to do from there until I chased them today being like, can you let me know what the plan is? And they said, we told you. It turns out they didn't do, they apologised. Not in a bad blood sort of way, like I've got other things that I need to work on. And uh, kind of glad that they uh, delayed it a little bit because they just got back to me and were like, yeah, to get the pool back online, up and running and all that sort of stuff. <sighs> it's got to cost you. But if I want to see this thing in operational order, I'm going to have to go ahead with it. Like it needs to be done. 
either either that needs to be done or it needs filling in with cement. And, and I don't actually mean that. If I wanted to, like, actually empty it and just use the room for something else, like, I don't know, put a pool table in here or whatever, you would drain the water, you'd put in a false floor to support it, and then put, like, an entire new, like, set of floors, like how we did upstairs, on top of it, and you would basically create just a full false floor and then turn this into a room for whatever purpose or use but to be honest i'd prefer it to be a pool so yeah we're just gonna have to bite the bullet <sighs> build a house they said it will be fun they said can anyone lend me a fiver why are you laughing at me it's it's like it's frustrating that i just feel like all these costs are constantly occurring of like maintenance costs or this is breaking and that's breaking and out of true Honestly, a lot of it is just the wear and tear of items. Like things have an estimated life, sh you know, like shelf life or whatever, and they're supposed to last for a certain amount of years. And like in some cases, whether it's an appliance, like ovens and stuff, they could go the entire ten years and never have a problem with them. Whereas like a fridge has, has like broken on me twice. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like over the years, things seem to break. And this is something that I've learned in life: if when you actually go and buy like a kitchen appliance or you know whatever it is, and they go, "Would you like the extended warranty?" And you're like, no. Tom's tip for the investment of your life and your future to save yourself stress and your hairline is to say yes, because the chances are when it rolls around to that, say that period where like the three years are up or that five year free warranty's up and you could have like extended it or doubled it, everything breaks. Like everything breaks. I remember like the, like the, the five year period of this house, so many appliances and stuff like that just stopped working. And I was like, oh, I wish I would have like, you know, taken out that extra warranty, but uh, you learn the hard way. It's the first time I've ever built a house, first time I've ever bought like certain things like my own fridge or this or that or whatever. So yeah, uh, it's, it's stressful, but it's just part and parcel of being a homeowner. And I feel like if I can share my knowledge of making mistakes of extended warranties and stuff like that, I, I'm going to pass it on. So the more you learn from Tom, you can't really learn much from me, you know, BT internet and all. <laughs> and we are on with the planning of the wire removal with the electrician and we're getting shit done. Now listen, stop trying to take credit for the fact that we're actually getting the house fixed because you've got time to ring people and organize people. I'm a busy boy. And yes, it is because of you, so shut up. But we've just discovered how to turn the lights of the front, at the front of the house. And you might be like, Tom, how do you not know this? But we've just found out there's a sensor unit over there to sort these out. Because like, look, this light is bright, that light is dim. We're gonna fix that. And now what we're trying to fix is the lights at the back of my house. Because if you look there, I've got a light in the wall, a light in the wall, but at no point in this property can you flick a switch to turn them on. There's, it's not like a light switch. It's all built into a sensor, and we believe that's the sensor right there. Now, I know my dad's gonna be watching this going, I know that's that, I've told you that, which is, it's absolutely fine, it's absolutely great, but the amount of times I've rang and spoke to electricians to try and come and help me sort these electrical problems I've had around the house, they either don't turn up, they wait six months, and I'm just left twiddling my thumbs, and that's why our hero has arrived to save the day. That is what my dad came to me and said you need replacing. Oh my gosh. Dun, 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 dun. Is this a motor drift? Will it fit? Is it the same fitting? Give me light, give me light, give me light, give me light, give me light. This is where we find out there's a fault or something. Yeah. <laughs> and you will be my hero, baby. No way. Oh, wait, they've turned off. Oh, it's not dark. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some over it. I can't believe it! I cannot believe it! For years, these lights have never worked. Oh, you know what? I'm giving I'm giving Lydia a lot of credit. She's been organising like these these. Oh my fucking god, Bill! Oh my god! Look! I'm like... Wait! Oh, wait! These these light up as well. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I... <laughs> How much do you want for that sensor? Oh, it was the best 25 quid I've ever invested in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. Lydia shooketh is, is not even the word. When I saw them back lights come on, oh, I can't believe it. We're going out for dinner at Jenny Naiman's because they've got like some new kitchen stuff installed. Or a new kitchen installed. 
stoked to see it, but part of me wants to just sit here until it goes dark and see the freaking lights turn on. This is what gets you excited when you're 30 years old. You get depressed when you get bills and payments and things break, but when you can fix them, get yourself, oh, I was gonna say, no disrespect, Phil, but get, get yourself a Lydia. She's made the phone call. She's organized getting people here and all there because you've seen during my days, I've got enough shit that I'm trying to deal with that I haven't got the time to pause to fair, and do the other shit. I know it sounds stupid as well, but it was such a source of aggravation in our relationship because I'd be like at school between the hours of like nine and five when everyone was doing all those phone calls and I'd come home and I'd be like, have you spoken to an electrician? And he'd be like, no, I haven't. And Because you've, like, you've seen how busy yeah. my days are. So, so imagine trying to do all of this. Do it myself. I'm like, oh. thank you. No, thank I, you. Hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate you paying for it. <laughs> I don't. Fuck it up. Shit's expensive. Oh, bloody hell. It's 25 past seven. I've not even done the thumbnail title or anything. But like I said, we're going out for dinner. So I'm, I, I, I'm going to have to take this with me and do the work on the way. So <laughs> let's go. Lydia's ready. To what? <gasps> no way. <laughs> well, I can go and enjoy my meal now and not be wondering the entire time, like, has it turned on? The only thing I will say about this, though, is it means my electricity bill is going to go up. Yeah, but if Carl fixes the leaky loo, then we're going to save money there. On my water bill. <laughs> the money I save on my water bill will go to my electricity bill. No way. I can't, I can't believe it. Are they not solar? No, 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 no. They're not solar. There's just a sensor that detects, like, nighttime, daytime. And that sensor's been broken. That's why they're not been turned on. <gasps> Let me in to canoodle your poodle. <laughs> what did you ask me? Of course I want a red wine. We're celebrating. Oh, da, 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 da. oh mate, that's so much better. Dude, you have an island. Yes. Your new floor in it, you're doing the whole floor on just all that section. Is all of this is going, yeah. Yes, new floor throughout. Let's go. Are you using the same guys we used? Oh, a new fridge. Oh, wait, same fridge. 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 Dude, it looks so nice. Oh, bro. Congratulations, mate. Dude, getting old is great, isn't it? <laughs> the things that get us giddy. Congratulations! Yes, this is brilliant. The island's amazing. Oh, yeah, look at this. I love what you've done with the floor. Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. What a day. Oh, I tell you, no, I feel like I'm just so much happier. Do you know why? Because you're wearing Syndicate Original. I don't have to blur you. Wait, put both hands like side by side and then say rainbow. rainbow. I'd like to see what he does. <laughs> He's only gonna done it. New vlog is live. Yes. And it is dinner time. Thank you, Eamon. Thank you, Jenny. Appreciate you. Hey, what, what, what are you making? What is it? Oh, got a little cocktail making session. What's that? Cane sugar? What is this? Aromatic bitters. I've only got, I've only got enough for one, so it's gonna be good. You're either making a baby Guinness. Nope. A whiskey sour? Yeah. No! Did I guess right? Yeah, well done. I am great cocktail, man. Do you know what? If you're going to start doing this, we just took all our drinks down, so I'll have it all organised. I can make you a smoky cocktail. Yeah. Oh! Cocktail you're actually going to make me a whiskey sour? I've really gotten into it lately. Wait, is this whiskey... Is this that you got from the Jameson factory? Yeah. I've never seen that kind of... Stout so edition. Good. It's lovely, it goes really what? well. Right? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait. I fall in love with whiskey, sorry. Jameson's Irish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got that on camera. I love why I did it up. Alright, can we have a zoom in replay of Eamon's eyes when I said that? He was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Let me on say. I don't know the words to that. Wait, Eamon, can you do it facing that way so I can see the hoodie? <laughs> Wait, did it get cold? Yeah. Wait, I'm not going to get like poisoning, am I? No. Ooh. I was just about to say to make a whiskey sour, don't you mean, is it egg yolk? Egg yolk, yes. No, egg white. I knew I said that wrong. What? Ooh, just making sure I don't get a fresh baby in there. <laughs> fresh baby egg in there. Mate, you, you're doing this like a professional. Oh, no way. way. Feed that your cat. Where did you learn this? Uh, there's like a BBC recipe. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like YouTube or... My great grandfather taught me this from an Irish distillery or something. BBC recipes. Even I'm not even kidding. That looks amazing. I think. 
It what? It tastes as good as it Dude, is. that looks it's incredible. Bang. Cheers. Are you not having one? Ding. I've only got one egg. No. <laughs> Do you want half? I'm out of whiskey as well. No? Are you sure? Enjoy. I'll be taking some off you. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. I'm not even lying. If it was shit, I'd tell you, because I wouldn't want one again. Because I'd come round and you'd be like, ego bella. <laughs> wow. Weeks of practice. I've been making one every day for like three weeks. Lovely. I like the froth as well. Nailed that. What? You know, man's got a good job when you ask for a toothpick and he brings these down. Mate, I was looking for a fucking cocktail stick. Been given an assortment of weapons. Wait, can I bring this up? Did you hear about the, what is it, the British, is it the British soldier that escaped from prison? Yeah, yeah. It's, de it's denied charges. <laughs> I didn't do it. How the fuck did you get out then? <laughs> I, 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 I fell. They said he, they said, they like a video report. Yeah. They started like tapping the table and just like looking around like disinterested. What a legend. Mate, imagine escaping prison and go like, <laughs> we charge you for escaping prison. He went, I didn't do it. He's <laughs> like, you, you we, we found you outside the prison. You fucking idiot. Eamon's just introduced me to this drummer guy. And oh my God, he is insane. What? I just realized this is copyright music, but wait, wait, it's what it is. You've really never seen this video? Never. My most viewed video on my channel, the green, the green screen. If you guys haven't seen this, I'm going to put this in the description. You've not seen the green screen prank. Never. Enjoy. Blue hair, Blue hair, right? Yeah. For context, he was streaming with the green screen and I just happened to buy an entire green screen suit. So I put it to the test. Look at the hair. Yes. <laughs> You're not skinny. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be fat, no. you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until you see this milk in action. So he's streaming with a green screen, right? Watch when I go behind his camera. I flip to the perspective. Watch. Watch. I agree. You ready? Oh, shit. God damn it. Was... You can't see me. <laughs> Look, the, mil <laughs> the milk's flowing. <laughs> Are you ready for the best bit? So people started to clock on that it was me, but I found a gas mask on the side. Watch this. I'm sure. You ready? Look what I did to him. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done. Look <laughs> how good is that? It was <laughs> because it was see-through and I was wearing the green mask. You, you, all you could see was a floating gas mask. How good is that? That's very good. <laughs> Easily one of the best videos I've ever filmed. Jenny, thank you for having us. I love you. You're a legend, Amonski. I'm excited for your kitchen to be finished. Let me know when the floor guys are here because I'm going to turn up and say hello. Do, do, do. Who would have thought how long you moved how long ago was you, you moved from London? Two years. Two years, exactly next two month. Years. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Best decision you ever made? Yeah. Yeah. You know you're happy to see me. Don't you even try that right now. <laughs> Get me in that vehicle. My nipples feel like icebergs. Are you ready to go home and watch One Piece? <laughs> Cause I am. <laughs> What's the fill Son of a bitch. I carried it the entire way fine. Tupperware obtained. I'm ready to go home. Don't you love how I'm trying to watch a Joe Sugg vlog and all of a sudden I can hear my car alarm going off outside? Or I could. Are you okay there, Defender? What are you doing? Walk. You can't write it. I get the, I get the lights fixed outside and as I'm sat here trying to watch Joe Sugg's vlog, I can hear my car alarm going off in the background. Usually if it was any other, any other car noise or alarm, I'd be running, panicking, with several weapons and then some to defend my vehicle's honour. But as soon as I heard it was the Defender, I was like, there's no way. That is the first time I've heard that gone off. But I think I might have known why it's done it. Let me go check. As I'm going downstairs, look at him. I'm sorry I've woke you up, but look how beautiful you are. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? Piss off, you bastard. But no joke, Um, I actually think I know why the Defender... Can you blame me for tripping over there? My house is a health and safety hazard. But no joke, I think I know why the alarm's gone off. Because if I'm right in saying, oh, look at that. Oh, I have lights out here. Wouldn't you be annoyed if like my car was just gone? I was like, oh, well, it got stolen, that's why. Wait for it. Yes, I knew. I knew I didn't shut the door properly. I'm an idiot sandwich, is it wet? No, it's okay. Thank God for that. Okay, we just, we just won't talk about like what's going in the back of my car. Um, 
I'm just going to give you a bit of context, though. If you're wondering, Tom, what is actually going on back there? This is every item out of the back of... Ooh! Monster. Um, out of the back of Lydia's car. Because if you remember, Lydia went and picked up Trevor and Chelsea from the train station, and she needed all the space possible because they went on, like, a two-week cruise or something, like, around the Norwegian Isles with the... Uh, what was it? Royal Caribbean. Um, and they took massive suitcases with them, so she needed all the space. So I got stuck with everything in the back of my car. You know, she could have took it inside, but <laughs> no, it went in the back of my Defender, because why not? Women 101. And the beast has been yet to be emptied, but it is what it is. And, uh, hey, massive win. I got a, <laughs> got a monster out of it. And more so, as we lock it up, I get to enjoy the lights in the back garden. Look at this. It's like a whole different environment. Yes, I've seen this before and know it exists, but it's just not been switched on for, not even kidding, three to four years. Watch any of the vlogs where I, like, film the back of the house for whatever reason. They have not been on. And not even just them. Let me go down the dodgy steps and tiptoe through Wimbledon 2.0. Oh, it's a leaf. The lights on the back of the house are on and it looks epic. Very good, very nice. Very cold and not so nice. Now, I'm not trying to go full dad mode, but do you ever remember as like a kid where for some reason you'd be like filling out a safety form of like, Mark the hazards in the household, and it would be like a like a kid crawling round a kitchen floor trying to grab like I don't know chemical liquids, and you'd be like, "Well, that's a danger." <sighs> Exhibit A. <laughs> but more so, you'd also see things like big, massive, sharp knives laying around, and you go, "Yeah, but." That just doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> Exhibit B. <laughs> and like, yeah, sure. When you used to do these things that like we'd circle the hazard, you'd be like, okay, like maybe it's cleaning products that mum left out or dad left out a knife or something. There would always be that one part of the picture where you'd be like, <sighs> copious amounts of fireworks in a certain area. and You'd be like, no, no one would ever leave them there. Well, if you can avoid the uh, chemicals, the sharp knife, and uh, walk around the corner, you would find the copious amounts of fireworks in my basement. To which I now understand... What the fuck is this thing? Why those... <coughs> Don't worry, we're A-OK. -okay. But I now know why those safety sheets existed so you can understand when you were older that these things are hazards. But don't worry, guys. <laughs> I got a high vis. Everything is A-OK, -okay, as long as you don't look that way. Now, for health and safety plus CSA regulations, I would like to say that was all a skit and everything was planted there for the purpose of this video. Because I can surely see someone saying, uh, I need to tell someone about this health and safety hazard in the house, where I can just say, guys, it's never just like that. Don't worry. It was just a prank, bro. Don't worry about it. All right, now that I've got all of that out of my system, I need to get all that out of the box. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a while. So are you ready? Oh boy, I may have underestimated my capability to do this in one transition. This right here says 50 minutes to assemble with two people. It's feckin' one o'clock in the morning. For jelly, man. I've just worked out why it says 50 minutes, two people. 50 minutes, maybe not. But the whole two-person thing, to put that on that, makes sense. Dad will. Shift tripod. It's one o'clock in the morning, so I'm whispering. But that's how we do it. It's 1.14. I'm making good time then. <laughs> how long have you been doing it? You're not supposed to be in the vlog, that's all I'm going to say. Why? 
Because you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be in bed and waking up seeing it. <laughs> it was too loud. You were, you were banging. Well, wait, wait, where are you? I'm over here. Don't mean to stop showing it. No, in all fairness, put the camera on me. I heard a lot of banging as well to the point where even I stopped listening to my music and paying attention because a house down the road has got all its security lights out and people are walking around with torches. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I, I got disturbed as well. Even though I'm making a load of I buttons. already knew that you were doing it because you came in like this really suspicious and shut the door and went... Have you shown the fact that I put towels under the door? Yeah, yeah why did you do that? Stop sound coming in so I didn't disturb you. Here, go and show them. Go on. Yes, I did have to step over this towel. It's soundproofing. I see. So you didn't hear it. Smart. <laughs> Listen, if I got to this point in the door and didn't wake you up, I'd done a pretty good job. I've been awake for a while. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I'm going to get a drink. Do you want one? Oh, 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 drink you offering? Hot chocolate. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I was texting my mate Vince from America from 3D Daily. He's got 18 kids. He's got 10. Oh, he's going to have 10. Got 18 nine. wardrobes to build. And I just, I just messaged him a picture of me building this at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I just went, yep. And he went, get used to it. <laughs> Busted. All right, what comes after step four? Because I've got to be confident that we're nearly there. Wait, really? I'm gonna need my tripod stick. This actually worked a charm. And I do believe this kit goes in like so. Ooh. And with the power of Grayskull. Wow. I put it into place. Did somebody say? Handles. Thanking you. Oh, that's good timing, isn't it? Because guess what? The wardrobe's built. The wardrobe's built. Mm. <laughs> Told you I'd do it. Cheers. Thank you, baby. Ta da! Now, what I would really like is another pole in it. Is an extra rail here. Yeah. Just for now. You know, while the coat goes like. You could probably fit three layers of clothes, or four layers of clothes without okay. small, but no, yeah. They have the baskets in I'm the sure bottom. I'm sure we can easily do that. Oh, I'm so impressed. Thanks, baby. <laughs> no worries. I think it looks lovely. Absolutely lovely. I'll get some pads so they do like soft closing. But yeah, just off the layout of the room so far, I think maybe mm -hmm. that goes there mm. and that goes there with a changing table on top of it. Is we've literally put that there because this TV wall thing's there behind it. So what Lydia's trying to say is like there's sockets and stuff behind that. However, right now we're taking up part of the actual baby changing cupboard thing with a painting. I'm sure it'd be hung up, but we could just put a painting over the plug sockets. Problem solved. Because then if you switch it the way around, I'm thinking that going there, mm. then it's out the way and the room doesn't feel like it's getting consumed by this monster of a wardrobe. I love it. Look at this. Who would have thought just like a week or two ago, this was my office with the writing on the wall and everything. Wow. The soundproofing. Just Are you eating chocolate? Yeah. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning. You're supposed to be in bed. Of course, I'll have some. Mm. Always. Oh, that has got to be the best chocolate Cadbury's has ever made. Probably what? Probably out of date. Well, maybe you shouldn't be eating it, but I'll eat the entire bar. Tell me, is it? <sighs> well, I can safely say this is starting to look like the room of a little one. And I like it. I like it a lot. Just think. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bless me. In 32 days, sooner or later, there is going to be a human being in there. Actually, no, they're not. They're going to be sleeping in the next me bed that I've still got to build. <laughs>
and then eventually we'll be in here. So in 32 days, this will be a future home for my child. Kind of excited. Just can't wait to see what they look like. And I can't wait to say, you're going to prison! <laughs> Just throwing them in this with CCTV cameras on them. Are they alive? Are they breathing? Are they okay? Yes. Cool. <laughs> prison! <laughs> Like, we keep them fed, we give them rationed meals. And that is being a dad. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. But alright. This has been a long one. You all complaining about them short vlogs. <laughs> Get out of here. This is, this is Tom life, dad life, full, everything happening all at once sort of day. And I'm very excited. Life's about to change, but I truly think, and I know it'll be for the better. So if you enjoyed these videos and these vlogs and me sharing my life and just, I just, I still can't believe the fact that this is the room where I once first moved into to the point where like wires were hanging in the walls because this wasn't even installed yet, like the thermostats and the plug so like sockets and switches and stuff. To it now being taken over by a mini person that I helped, <laughs> I helped contribute to make. <laughs> Let's be honest, boys, we did all the effort, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is, nine months, yeah, he was counting. Five seconds, sorry, sorry. five seconds, only took sufficiency. But, yeah, man, it's mad. My dad helped build this house, or built this house, and then I'm now getting it ready for my child. Mega. Bless you. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoy the videos, leave a like button. If you want to see more of my life and my journey of what's to come, then be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video of the world in my life. So as I take these screws out of my pocket and wonder where were they supposed to go, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. So much love to your faces. Let's adios.